Hey guys, Bruce here. Well, we got another one, Craftsman Gold, which is just an upper end mower. Briggs & Stratton Quantum Engine. Uh, the owner just dropped it off. So, it didn't come out very good, but while I was power washing another lawnmower, I just took took it, gooshed the grass or the cauliflower the broccoli out from underneath the cauliflower, the broccoli out from underneath it, and uh, it has oil and it has gas, and that's all I know. So let's just have a look. We'll do this together. Oh, that didn't sound very good. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Let's try it again. A little more fuel. Don't even know if that works yet or not, right? Hmm. Well, it won't start. And it's banging. So, I guess the first thing to do is to make sure it has some fuel. It didn't leak out overnight. It's got gas. It's got, it's up to the full on the oil. Looks clean. Okay, well. Start digging in, eh? Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It weighs a ton, and the bottom part that could suck air is covered in fluff, and the bottom part is completely full of oil. That's probably why it's not starting. But I'm still concerned about that noise. I don't know. Well, I guess before I uh, care, I'm going to try and start it now. friends. Sounds like the death rattle, doesn't it? Oh, just a minute. Uh, I'm getting myself, I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta check the blade. Should I use air for that? Yeah, let's do that. Excuse me. Scratch, huh? It didn't start very well though, did it? I'll be right there. Hang on. Get the blade off or check the blade. Maybe it's banging on something. That would be good. At least then it's we don't know yet, eh? Okay. We'll tilt it up as far as it'll go. Okay, I was going to take the blade off, but I think I'm just going to tighten it. Ah! It wasn't very loose at all. I'll come back when the compressor quits. All right, we're back. Let's try that again. Do I prime it? It's probably flooded, but... It's probably carved up with that filter being so full.
So this, this is quite common midsummer. This is the kind of stuff that you find. So that's a relief. The gentleman that owns this is a really nice guy. And, uh, but he's, I don't think he's mechanical. So now, I guess, we just have a tuna. But I'd love to see that plug, eh? It's probably been pulling oil out of the crankcase through the vent tube, the PCV tube, into the filter, eh? So that's really interesting. So we'll, uh, I'll just take a break here and we'll come back. So my friends, don't assume anything, right? I bet you there's hundreds of mowers every day, even in my city, thrown away every week because a blade is loose or something's hitting a piece of metal or something like that and they think the engine's shot. So that was a nice surprise for me. So now we're gonna take the spark plug out uh, and we'll see if that affects our quality of starting. Now we're, we're actually entering the tune-up level now, right? Sorry about that, I was just re-aiming you. It's an RJ19 HX, well we're gonna get rid of that. It has to be carboned up the way it was running. Not as bad as you'd think. I'm going to clean it and measure it. Right back. All right, I cleaned up this HX plug. Now I think that these are open end to end, and uh, I'm just this is I'm just going on memory. Eh? It's gapped a little too close as well. Oh. Yeah, 154K, that's, that's a lot. Oh, it's leaking to ground too. Oh, it's good. Okay, so I don't like these, I'm gonna throw it away. And we're gonna get a new plug. I'm getting low. What do we got here? An RJ19LM. I think that's the that's the one that came with the machine back in the day. Eh? You can't go wrong with OEM, baby. So we're looking at a what are we looking at here? A thirty thousandths distance on the gap. Perfect. Let's stick her in and see if it. Hello. Let's stick her in and see if it starts any better. And then our tune-up's almost done. But I'm going to do one thing. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to get a half-inch socket. And I'm just going to tighten up the head bolts around the muffler. My buddy Wayne from EP Performance has been suggesting I try that. snug loose a little bit and these ones aren't. Okay, thanks Wayne. Let's see how she starts now. And I'm gonna get my light and look in here to see if it's priming. Yes it is. So I should only take about two pops on that. We'll tilt it back a little bit so I don't hit my truck. One, two, or because it had an empty cylinder. Right? And it should start that gangbusters now.
Okay, 30,120 RPMs. That's about 150 more. Uh, 3,150 RPMs is about 100 more RPMs than it was running at. That's also without the air filter on. So we won't, uh, we'll check it. We'll just do one more check on that. You might not see that. So now I'm going to uh, take off the blade, sharpen the blade, and uh, change the oil. And then we're just down to a wipe down and a, you know, chassis lube and all that other good stuff. So, I don't know if you want to see the oil change or not. Man, oh man. I'm just going to tilt it. It's not that bad, you know. I've sharpened a lot of blades this year. Okay. I'm going to just pop that blade off of there. We'll use the, the air. We don't have to use the Armstrong method on everything, right? Especially when it's coming off. Good. And does it have uh, oil release in the pot. People have tunnel vision. They drive by and they don't even see the door open. That's good. Okay, I've got to do something a little bit different here. I'm just going to let the oil out of the, out of the bottom. And uh, you guys don't have to see that. We'll talk to you later. Okay. I just sharpened the blade and I use a bench grinder. Some people use angle grinders. You can use whatever you like. Just emulate the uh, angle that was on there before and then blunt it off like it was when it was new. A sharp, sharp blade will damage easier because the point is too sharp like a razor blade. Not like a razor blade. So anyway, I'm uh, just going to add some oil to this uh, nice now. Oops, let's go back this way. I'm so sorry. Push it into the screen. Oh, that's lovely. And we'll just put some oil in this bad boy. I just drained the oil and discarded it. And it takes a half a liter. Some guys say 550 milliliters, but 500 milliliters works good. It goes to the top of the full mark. I'll just let that drain a little bit, and uh, I gotta get a, I gotta find an air filter for it. I, you know what? I, I have to start using this box. I have a net, real nice wooden box that I can stand on to get my, to get my filters. Here's my box of filters, just in case you're curious. Over here, I use 1030 Penn's oil. 1030. It's a good oil. I'm not into the into the uh, who to call it synthetic stuff yet. And right on the full. I guess I could show you. Hard to tell when it's clean, right? So we have a sharp blade. We've changed the oil. We've corrected our loose blade situation. And now we're going to stick in a new, clean, beautiful air filter. But before I do that, I'm going to kind of clean up the old one. Yeah. I'm going to do that. So. You guys, you, you know how you know how these come on. That's good. Thanks. All right, I cleaned the housing where the filter goes. Oh, almost. <laughs> there was a lot of grease on there, oil, because it was sucking oil out of the tube 
that comes out of the engine for the positive crankcase ventilation, right? Okay, she's ready to go. I'm just going to clean it up and we'll do the final start. Thanks, my friends. All right. Blades on, oil's in, clean air filter. Uh, well, I wiped down the, I wiped down the uh, deck. I did power wash this one to start with. Pardon, sorry. And uh, boy, I tell you, Wayne, you gotta love red, eh, buddy? If you're selling them more, the red ones jump to the front of the line. The wabbit and wed. Okay. So I'm gonna start it up and just check the RPM. Clamp. I don't mind, whoops, you, uh, most of you guys know this, I don't mind going to the low end of the RPM range on an older, this is a 2000, can you believe that? And uh, so it's 23 years old, that's 00045, like April of 2000. So anyway, we saved it. I thought that motor might be toast, eh, when that, when that uh, blade was flopping, out, not flopping, but it was going tickle, 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 and it really knocks when you just turn the engine over. So thanks for watching with this one with my friends. Blabble, babble. Thank you. Bye.